Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my review for Cobra Kai Season 2. So, with the announcement that the third season will be coming to Netflix in 2021, I thought I would give my review for the second season of the show, especially since I found that the first season was very well done. I heard good things about the second season, but I was undecided if it, was, if it actually held up to the quality of the first. And... Right off the bat, I will say that the second season is just as good as the first. Um, I don't remember much of, I want to say, the theme of the first season aside from the rekindling of the rivalry between Daniel LaRusso and um, the guy from Cobra Kai, but um, basically the rivalry is rekindled because Daniel doesn't want Cobra Kai to ever return, but Cobra Kai ends up taking off because he's providing a means to of people to protect themselves and basically it's a way or he's basically recreating what Cobra Kai stood for when they were younger and in the second season they continue that but um, they change up the theme that um, they want to keep the strike hard and strike fast but rather than the no mercy rule they want to show mercy and show that Cobra Kai can teach strength but show that there's that there's strength and mercy and that they can be better than competition even with the aggression so even with the return of Kreese and him trying to take over Cobra Kai and what's his name leaving because he ends up quitting um overall that I like that whole interaction of, or that whole theme of second chances and understanding that Daniel um gains for basically who he's always considered his competitor and even though in the grand scheme of things he doesn't truly understand it um and johnny lawrence is competitor's name but basically we see that daniel and it, daniel is um trying to understand johnny is still slowly gaining his um an understanding of what he's trying to do but doesn't fully understand it because He's still living by the old rules of how he grew up, even though his daughter and Johnny Lawrence's son are, or mostly just um, Daniel's daughter is learning that they can get along. But basically, Daniel and Johnny are, or Daniel is stuck in the past that he's trying to, uh, or he's succumbing to his anger and aggression, even though Johnny is not. But Johnny is still stuck in the past, uh, mostly as we see through his use of technology like with the cell phone and the laptop and connecting to the internet and all of that so even though he's trying to preach change he hasn't really changed and daniel even though he's trying to teach peace and balance is not really peaceful or balanced and he's still trying to shut down cobra cry and get back at them and he's seeing them still as a villain of his youth even though he's he also on and off understands that johnny's not johnny's trying to do a good thing and be better than the past and trying to be, be uh, rise above crease but the um theme that we see is that the um idea behind cobra kai and crease himself is that is um aggression no mercy strike hard strike fast and all of that so all in all it falls into a very strong season as far as those themes and we see the culmination of that in the big fight scene at the end of the season where um Johnny Lawrence's star student ends up um, not in a coma but I want to say breaking his neck or back potentially ends up in the hospital because of the actions of what he did and because he doesn't know what's going on and he's not and, be, and that's the other thing is that they're not take, Daniel and Johnny are not necessarily taking ownership of their actions um, Daniel sort of understands it because he has his wife there to help him or to tell him what he what's going on. His mom is there to help him understand what Daniel's dad did for her. Um, and he kind of gets it, but we still see that he's kind of not necessarily stuck in his way, but he can't he cannot get over um, the past that he had growing up with Johnny Lawrence and Kreese and Cobra Kai. So we see that Johnny Lawrence is trying to do he's trying arguably the um, best rounded character trying to move on but he's stuck in the past and he's trying to grow beyond what he knows and Kraus is still or Kreese not Kraus Kreese is still stuck in his way that um, Cobra Kai shouldn't change it and he built it into what it was and because it's his dojo that's how it always should be Daniel is stuck in the middle because he's trying to 
be how um, Mr. Miyagi taught him, but then he's also still coming to the anger he felt in when he joined Cobra Kai. So um, all of those interactions and then the dynamic with the children and the other students and Daniel's life and all of that all tie together to make it very intriguing and basically that fight scene I did not quite end up or I didn't expect it to quite end up quite that way but it was a starting a startling revelation along the lines of how season one ended with Kreese suddenly showing up and um, everyone assumed he was dead but he wasn't so all in all um a very strong season and I can't wait to see what Netflix does with season three so that's really all there is for the review there's not much else to say besides if you enjoyed the Karate Kid films, um, notably the ones with um, uh, Ralph Macchio and as Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence, then you'll definitely like Cobra Kai. I definitely wa- recommend watching both seasons. Um, they're both streaming on Netflix at the moment, so you have, if you have it, I definitely wa- recommend watching them. All the episodes I want to say are about 30 minutes long. So, and there's like, I want to say eight or ten episodes per season, so definitely a very quick watch. You could probably knock them out in a weekend or maybe two weekends um, if you decide to binge watch it, but definitely a very well produced show and not something you would expect to be this well produced, but it is very well done. And you see Daniel LaRusso in that father figure, especially as not having a father himself, deal- and having to manage work, family life, a dojo. Um, and then on top of that having to relive the past and try to get over it and maintain all of that and so ultimately the takeaway for me from season two was on one hand you have uh, Johnny Lawrence teaching second chance or talking about second chances in life and Daniel kind of understanding that but we also see that they're that Dan- Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso are not teaching the kids about taking responsibility for their actions because and while I want to say um, Daniel's daughter and Johnny's son as being part of um, Miyagi Do Karate kind of understand the consequences of their actions and you see Daniel trying to part it it's more of do as I say not as I do and then with Johnny, you don't see any of that. It's just strike. He's trying to teach them to think, but ultimately fails in it. He's more of just, again, do as I say, not as I do. So that's kind of where we see the kids falling apart in their understanding. So um, you see, and that's the kind of, that's what ultimately leads to the uh, fights at the party or the interaction, the ulti- the building tension with the. Um, not at the party, but at the, the big fight at the end with at the school, and then um, the competition and fighting um, at the party, especially with the drinking game, and then the um, the Cobra Kai guys um, distro- uh, vandalizing um, Daniel Larusso's uh, dojo and all of that. So basically, it's taking season one to the next level because Cobra Kai thinks that, or as Johnny says, just because you won doesn't make you a winner. Um, so, kind of those lessons fall, you see the lessons trying to pop up from time to time throughout the season, but it, they ultimately fail and that's what causes the ultimate conflict and you see that it falls apart for um, Johnny as he leaves Cobra Kai and um, the season ends. So as far as the big spoiler, because the season has been out for a while, then I will give, I'll give the spoiler alert now, so jump ahead about 30 seconds to a minute or so to avoid it, but we close out the season with a, a friend acceptance from Allie, Johnny's girlfriend from high school, that um, where they drifted apart, so I have a feeling in season three that's what we're going to see, or she's going to show back, come back into the picture, so... Um, part of what I'm going to do now that I finish this season, know about that, is research what the pl- see if there's any what the plans are for that. But um, it looks like um, Allie's going to show up in the final season, uh, or not the final season, but the next season, and we'll see how that dynamic changes what happens between Johnny and Daniel, and um, how they maybe t- or what I'm hoping for is that they team up to um, go against Cobra Kai because Johnny and Daniel are 
tr are aiming for the same thing, so maybe so Johnny can teach Daniel how to be have that aggressive side, and Daniel can teach Johnny how to have that balance, and they each become the stronger for it. And with that, they can teach the kids how to maintain that balance and understand their anger and control it, but also have that peace and balance at the same time. So that's all there is for that. Um, and then the closing scene was Johnny walking away from the beach. So I have a feeling he's going to, um, or my guess is that he's probably going to do something with the kid that's in the hospital or he's going to Daniel's dojo to try and reconcile what's going on because Daniel took care of his kid, enrolled him in school and taught him how to be a good student, a good teacher. And basically he was being that good father when Johnny couldn't do that. So We'll see if that resolves itself somehow in the next season as well. But that's all there is for this particular review. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But that's all there is for this episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.